in making the installation for the gutter mate, we first need to position the water bot and then determine the maximum level in the water bot. We're making this mold mark here the maximum level in the water bot. What we need to do is to transfer this level over to the downpipe here so that we know uh, the position of the gutter mate in the downpipe. This is going to facilitate the automatic shut off when the water butt is full. So we use a spirit level to get this level over to the downpipe. And because this is slightly different, there is a corner in the way here. So we first of all are going to transfer this level to the corner and then from the corner to the downpipe here. So we're positioning the top of the spirit level at the mould mark and then with the level there, the bubble, we're getting the, the level correct for the uh, spirit level and then we're going to mark the wall. Oops, let me just do that again. Uh, is that, that's correct. And then we go over from there to the downpipe, get the position and get the level there, and then mark the downpipe. So here we have the mark from which we're going to measure up, and also from the once the top mark is in the position will measure down. Now you can either do that with the dimensions given or you can in actual fact use the gutter mate itself. So here we've got the gutter mate and what we've got to do is we've got to position this in. So here we have the maximum water level for the gutter mate and this has to uh, correspond or the maximum level on the gutter mate has to correspond with this level here. So having positioned that there we then need to transfer the position or the level of the top of the gutter mate here and this is the lid and this has got to once that level is there We've got to allow uh, three, somewhere between two and three millimeters of the uh, downpipe to go into the top of the gutter mate. Because obviously we don't want any water splashing out from the top of the gutter mate. Once we've got this mark here, we're then going to either measure down or again position the gutter mate and take the level of the bottom of the gutter mate, uh, the position of that onto the downpipe. So in effect, this mark here and this mark here will be the two positions where we're going to cut for the removal of this piece of downpipe. This is the maximum water level mark on the downpipe. This, at the bottom of the tape, is representing the bottom of the gutter mate where where we're going to make the bottom cut and this tape here is representing the top cut in the downpipe and what will happen here is that the, the top piece of downpipe will go into the top of the filter by approximately two or three millimeters. We now have to cut the piece of pipe out to be able to fit the gutter mate. So where we are now is that we're going to cut this through here, try to get it as horizontal as you can, and we just saw that through there. Having cut the piece of uh, downpipe out, we now need to position the gutter mate 
into the pipe and now mark out the, uh, the holes, uh, the position of the holes for the screws to hold the gutter mate, the filter body to the wall. Having drilled the holes, we're now going to put the plugs in for the fixing screws for the body. Now we're going to position the body into the downpipe and then we're going to locate the, uh, the uh, body with the screws into the fixings which we've just put in the wall and the final screw goes in there and this is just going to fix the filter body in position ready for normal everyday use Now, we now are going to fit the filter basket. The gap here is allowing the filter basket to go in and to be positioned. It is important that you have the distance from the top of the filter basket to the top of the filter body equal all the way around the, uh, the circumference of the uh, body here, uh, because otherwise the the, per, the uh, filter top will not fit correctly and that has to go on and fit so that this is there is no gap here so now we've got to fit the uh, hose adapter so we've got the fixing nut and we have two washers here okay one of the washers is going to stay on the outside and we're going to screw this into into the water butt. The hole that we've drilled in the water butt is a one inch uh, BSP uh, uh, hole size. So that's in there. Now we're going to put the, uh, the second washer on the inside uh, of the water butt and then fix that into position with this uh, locking nut here. Right, the next thing we need to do is to put a, a drop of washing up liquid on here so that we can easily push the hose onto there. So that's the hose in position and that's where it should be, right up against the shoulder of the hose adapter. Now we have to do the other end and connect this now to the, uh, to the gutter mate uh, outlet. Another uh, uh, drop of uh, washing up liquid needs to go on here again to push the end of the hose on. Now we've got the installation complete and what you should appreciate is the levels and what's going to happen when the water starts running in the water bowl. So the rainwater is coming down the downpipe. Inside the body of the filter there is a weir and the water goes into the weir and out of the diverter outlet here into the water butt. As the water butt fills, then the water is coming up and bearing in mind that this is our maximum water level here, not this here. So the water is going to rise up to here because this point here is level with the maximum water level on the gutter mate. So when the water in the water butt 
reaches this level here. The water will then back up the hose and then overflow here inside the gutter mate and then down the bottom piece of downpipe into either your soak away or your drain. And that's the function of the automatic cutoff in the gutter mate. Do not be misled, this is not the maximum water level in your water bucket. This is the maximum water level. The next thing we want to explain is the use of the filter. We have two outlets on the filter, the diverter outlet and the main outlet. The unique feature of the gutter mate filter is that all of the rainwater coming down this downpipe has to go through the filter before it either comes out of the, down, the diverter outlet or the main outlet. With this feature of the gutter mate, it gives you the opportunity to use either the diverter outlet or the main outlet. So if you've got a water butt, as we've shown in this film, then the diverter outlet is more than adequate uh, to supply the water to that water butt. So what we provide is we provide the blanking cap to go on the diverter outlet. So what you can do is that you can abandon the diverter outlet completely, put the blanking cap on there, and then use the main outlet from the filter to supply your storage tank, your water tank. This can be either above ground or below ground water tank. And when you're using this, you do have to provide a means of overflow from the tank. With the installation as we have it here, we're diverting a percentage of the water into the water butt via the diverter outlet. The excess water is coming down the downpipe here, having gone through the filter and into either a soak away or a drain. Now the unique feature of the gutter mate is that all the water that comes down the downpipe has had to go through the filter in the gutter mate. So what we're doing with the gutter mate, not only are we filtering the water which goes to the water butt, but we're also filtering all the excess water which is going into the soak away. And so we are therefore protecting your soak away or drain from leaves and moss and any other debris which is coming out of the guttering or off the roof, which potentially could get into the soak away or drain. The cost of maintaining your drains or soakaways is 10, 15, 20 times the cost of the gutter mate filter. This is a very good insurance policy uh, to protect your soakaways and drains. As you can see, we're using round down pipe uh, in this installation. And if you notice with the ram down pipe, we've got this type of bracket, which allows a gap between the wall and the down pipe. We call this type of bracket a standoff bracket. Now the gutter mate is uh, uh, suitable for installing into a square down pipe. But the problem with square down pipe is that there are two types of mounting bracket. There is the standoff bracket similar to this, but there is also what they call a close fitting bracket, which takes the square down pipe right up against the wall. And in that situation, if you have close fitting brackets for square down pipe, we need to get the main outlet from the gutter mate back to the wall. And for that, we use the square to round adapter. So this pushes onto the main outlet from the gutter mate. And as you can see, then the uh, main outlet is pushed back to the wall to fit into the bottom piece of square downpipe. What we've just demonstrated is the ease and simplicity of the gutter mate filter. This can be inspected and cleaned by anyone doesn't matter the age of the person, they can still do this. There are no 
uh, fixings to undo. There are no uh, clamps to adjust or fasten. It is simply a, a matter of uh, moving the filter lid and removing the basket. They all the slide fit, so there is no adjustment necessary once the cleaning has been done and replacement has been made. Uh, we, we would expect this to be used and appealed to anybody that wants to save rain.